on this leg out, uh, leg workout, um, um, decided to do split squat um, on the Smith machine. Um, this particular uh, workout tends to focus more on the outer thighs. As you can see, all the muscles are being worked on. I mean, I could have fixed my body, uh, positioned my body a little bit better. But um, I did couple routines before, so that you know, sometime when you done couple other exercises, you tend to get tired on certain things. But anyway, it's actually working the the thighs and the glutes, which is the butt, uh, my butt, and uh, it's really really good exercise. And I didn't use a lot of weight on this particular movement. I think I used maybe 15 pounds. Um, not even 15, I think it's 10 pounds, 5 and 5. Um, not really heavy, I don't go heavy on this. And don't worry about my uh, leg warmers. I usually put it, put those leg warmers when I'm doing, when it's leg days, because some of the pads on the machines at the uh, facility, it's all ripped up. So I don't like my skin to be rubbing against uh, all those uh, ripped uh, pads. So right now I'm doing lunges. It's uh, two different lunges. One coming, for, uh, you know, the regular one coming forward and then I do the outer. Um, sometimes I even go further away, but I was kind of tired. So um, this is lunges. And there's the other one going to the side. This one it is forward and then a little bit to the side um, I think I did probably 10 uh, for each leg and it's really good it works the uh, you know, your glutes your hamstrings your abductors the uh, lunges are really good this, this kind of exercise you could actually do at home you know without any weight I think this, uh, I forgot what I did here. Yeah, I did a regular squat. This time I went a little bit heavy. As you can see, the weights on the side. I think I went um, uh, 50, probably 100. Um, 25 on this, uh, 25, 25. So that's 50 on each side, so 100. So this time I wanted to go a bit heavy. And, uh, you know, the uh, squats is really good um, for the glutes, the hamstrings. Uh, it's, it's a good exercise some, um, for you guys to do. And I usually superset it by something else. It could be the lunges, and I think this I did a little bit deadlift. Um, this I think it was 100 pounds. Um, this weight is already set, so I don't like to move weights around and try to show people I'm doing heavy things. This uh, barbell is already set, so I just pick it up and do it. So I'm doing um, a little bit of a deadlift. Um, I mean, I could go lower my butt a little bit more, but uh, I really feel it on my... Uh, uh, hamstring when I do it like that but, you know everybody have their own way but I could have lower my butt a little bit more mm. normally I do 10 um, if I feel like doing more I'll do but l usually 10 is my maximum uh, repetition mm. looking at this video it seems like I'm lifting that thing very carelessly um, but that I think it's like either 90 or 100 pounds. So I did another, I sh I'm showing you another set, but I think I did three different, um, three sets. And uh, this one I went a little bit higher again. I think 110 pounds. Um, there's five, I added five on each side. Five pounds on each side.
see my face is really mm. like really pushing it. Mm. Sometimes when you're doing those, uh, when I'm doing those videos, I don't have anybody holding the camera for me, so I have to find a good spot where um, I could angle it. Mm. So uh, it could show all of the uh, areas that I'm working on. So it's really hard sometimes when I bring the video and I, I don't have anybody holding it for me. Sometimes I have to do extra repetition, extra set, because after viewing it, I realized certain part of my body wasn't showing on the video. But this time I think I got it right. Again, I could have lowered myself a little bit more. Um, Sometimes it's good to look at yourself on the videos, see how your form is. At the time, I think I was doing it perfectly, but I, looking at it now, I could see that I could have, uh, you know, I think I see my back a little bit arched a bit, but it could have, uh, my butt could have been lowered a little bit more to prevent that arch. I was exhausted. <laughs> look at my face. So here I'm doing um, calf raises. Um, the facility that I go to actually have a machine for that, but I really don't like to walk around going for, I just like to have all of my things in one place. So while I was already in the Smith machine, nobody was waiting for it. So I decided to just do, do it here. So as you can see, the gym is a bit empty. Probably was maybe 10 o'clock, not too many people there. So I just bring this, the bench, and uh, decided to do the calf raise here. Now this time, um, I was like, oh, I actually did finish my set. And I said, oh, let me do another set, turning my, uh, myself around so you guys uh, could see the muscles uh, that is being uh, worked on. And then as I started, and I was like, oh, let me pull down the leg warmers. I really don't need it here. If, you know, like I said, I put these warmers for uh, when I use the other machines that uh, the pads are ripped. That will, uh, you know, just protect my skin from rubbing against the, the ripped pads. So, but anyway, I wanted to show the... Uh, my calf uh, muscles, you know, working. I really don't like my legs to be too uh, bulky, but um, you know, if you're working one part, you need to work the entire thing. So, actually, I was going pretty heavy. I think it was 150. I went heavy when I, when I do the calf uh, muscles. Thanks for watching. <laughs>